W game. Some of you have the Apple AirPods Max in your wish list, but you still haven't purchased it yet. Why is that? Is it because of the $549 retail price? Or were you concerned about certain functionalities that weren't clearly explained at release? The battery life, the cable, connectivity? Before covering those concerns, if you take a look at Amazon reviews, even though the AirPods Max has 83% five-star reviews, some three-star reviews make very good points to consider and they cover issues that make you want to hold off on buying the Apple AirPods Max until the second generation. Then again, there is a nice thing for the sale. But let's take ourselves back in time to 2021. The general consensus on blogs and YouTube was how great these headphones are, but where was, where the, was wired the wired connection, connection testing? testing? The battery, the battery drain, drain discussion. discussion. Like, like, have you ever wondered what happens to the battery when you lay your headphones down somewhere? Obviously, these headphones don't have an on and off switch, so the battery just slowly decreases, right? As of today, when you leave the headphones stationary somewhere for five minutes, the AirPods Max goes into a low power mode to preserve its battery charge. And according to Apple, after 72 hours outside its smart case, the headphones enter a low power mode that turns off Find My and Bluetooth. But this wasn't always the case because looking back, after its 2020 release, a lot of you experienced significant battery drain when leaving the headphones inside the case. In fact, one of you said, I just got my AirPods Max a week ago and have definitely been experiencing the battery drain. 100% charged down to 1% in the morning when I wake up. And this makes sense because in the spring of 2021, Apple released a firmware update which make use of said Apple is fixing a problem without admitting it exists. <laughs> so because I hate the purse light case, I did my own testing. I left my headphones on my desk at 10.30 a.m. and the battery percentage was 79%. At 11.30, it was 79%. At 12.30, it was 79%. At 1.30, there was a 1% decrease to 78% and at 9.30 p.m., the headphone battery percentage was 73%. So for someone that hates the purse-looking case that came with the headphones, I'm pleased to see the firmware update led to better idle battery life. But when it comes to other concerns, we're not out of the woods yet because we need to recognize the question of, why is my AirPods Max 3.5 millimeter cable not working? Now, this is not to be confused with the dongle, but let's quickly address that. I came to the realization that the AirPods Max doesn't support the Lightning dongle, and to confirm, on Apple's website, it says the dongle works with the iPod Touch, iPad, and iPhone. So, to make a wired connection work, I would need the bi-directional cable that can be used with both 3.5mm audio out and audio in ports. For background, I use a wired connection whenever I'm recording audio of myself talking. I plug my Rode headphones into the recorder using a male-to-male 3.5mm connection, and I listen to myself speak while recording. In order to do this with the Apple AirPods Max, I begrudgingly bought the $35 Lightning 2 3.5mm audio cable, and when I plugged it in my recorder, I didn't hear anything. Radio silence. So, I did what you would do. I turned to Google and search, why is my AirPods Max 3.5 millimeter cable not working? And I found this post. Just recently bought the AirPods Max and the official Apple cable from the Apple store. Love the headphones, but I can't get them to play audio through the Lightning 2 3.5 millimeter cable. Is there something else I need to do to get them to work? And on Reddit, this user provided the answer saying the following. Try restarting or resetting the AirPods Max by pressing and holding the digital crown and noise control buttons on the right headphone at the same time. Hold these buttons for about 12 seconds until the status light next to the charging port flashes amber. Immediately release the buttons. And you know what? My initial response after reading that is, baby no, just forget it. But then I remember, watch, you need to provide value to your audience and try it out on multiple devices. So, I decided to plug the wired cable into my PC and it worked. So, what gives? As I look through consumer reviews, people say this cable will work with some devices and not with others. We deserve a pair of headphones that effortlessly plug and play and is easily detected right out of the box. 
and this review I saw on Amazon about the cable is just icing on the frustrating cake. Tried two different Apple cables for AirPods Max. Neither provided any audio from my device. First off, Apple should have provided a wired connection for $550 headphones and probably a proper case, but they chose to make a $35 cable that only they can provide. Worst part is, the Apple forums are filled with people reporting no audio like myself. And I said, boy, if you don't talk that talk, but if you disagree, let your voice be heard in the comments below. Now, just a few minutes ago, I said we deserve a pair of headphones that are easily detected right out of the box. So imagine how dumb I felt when my headphones didn't pair with my iPhone. But here's what you can do if that happens to you as well. On Apple support website, it says within 60 seconds of holding it next to my device, the pairing animation should show up. Well, it didn't for me, despite my iOS being up to date, but in order for it to finally connect to my device, I did have to long press the noise control button until I saw a flashing light on the headphones. And just like that, it appeared in my Bluetooth settings for me to connect. And once it's connected, I can use my headphones across all my Apple devices. And man, let me tell you, it is such a great experience to be able to have the audio switch from my phone to my MacBook so well. So if you're an Apple AirPods owner, you already know exactly what that's like. Now, with my headphones connected, that begs the question, how do I get the most out of my AirPods Max? My first suggestion is to change the direction of the digital crown. I've accidentally blasted my audio by turning it in the wrong direction. Out of the box, the direction is counterclockwise, but clockwise felt more natural to me. So I turned the option to front to back. My second suggestion is to buy a pair of silicone covers. Our head, hair, and ears have natural body oil on them and a cover like I have will make a wipe down super easy. Plus, you don't want your headband and ear cups looking brown from dirt, right? Check the link in the description to see what I bought and keep a lookout for an upcoming video discussing all the worthwhile accessories I bought for these headphones. But let's not get it twisted. This isn't some AirPods Max slam piece. The Apple AirPods Max is an amazing pair of headphones. The design is very aesthetically pleasing and unmatched in my opinion. The ability to remove the ear cups and purchase new ones is actually dope. The active noise cancellation and transparency mode, among other features, make this purchase worthwhile. For example, when I'm sitting in my office, this is what the room and the washer sounds like from the other side of the house. And with the active noise cancellation turned on, this is what I hear. Other features that I enjoy are gestures. So if someone starts talking to me while I have my headphones on, I don't have to pause my audio or video. Just lift the ear cup away from my ear or completely take them off and my media is paused. Now, I'm no sound guy, but the audio from these headphones have good sound and isn't distorted. They aren't studio headphones, but more suited towards everyday media consumption. And although I appreciate the surround sound technology, that wasn't the driver of me buying these, but it's definitely a nice to have. One of the important features that holds up to the marketing claims is the battery life. Now that we're past the initial battery life issues, I'm able to wear these headphones for about three or four days in a row before I need a charge. And speaking of wear testing, some of you have repeatedly asked on the internet, why do my AirPods Max feel too tight? For people that have bigger heads, bigger hairdos, and even bigger ears, this may not be for you. Even though the headphones have adjustable arms, I wish it would adjust a little bit further. I have the adjustable arms fully extended and after about 80 hours of wearing them, I haven't experienced any discomfort. My ears sit perfectly inside the cup and I haven't experienced any headaches or fatigue caused by wearing them. But I will say, if I had a bunch of hair on my head, it would cause the headphones to sit higher and rest on my ear instead of surrounding it, which would increase the chances of the headphones feeling too tight or aching. Now, since we're on the topic of wearing, something I highly recommend is don't make the AirPods Max your gym headphones. I know you guys love correcting YouTubers, so now is your chance. 
correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't recall Apple marketing photos showing gym activity. Furthermore, in the product listing, you can see the AirPods Max are not sweat and water resistant. But aside from that, I've seen discussion online where people say they are simply wearing them at their desk and discover the condensation droplets. This review on Amazon shows a picture of where the droplets are located. If you want to follow along, click on the link in the description of this video. So if you're sold on buying the Apple AirPods Max, the next thing you should think about is accessories. Now, obviously, you can see I have the silver AirPods Max, but I have several silicone covers on them for an all white look. So one thing I'm never going to do is wear these raw. <laughs> that wasn't the best choice of word, huh? In this video, I will explain why these accessories are the ones you need to buy for your Apple AirPods Max. 